guys everybody I'm back again with another tutorial today I'm showing you how you can repair and or customize your crochet locks so you guys may remember in my initial butterfly lock crochet video I mentioned that if you don't open the loop wide enough to pull the lock through they could potentially stretch out this is a great solution to that if you accidentally stretch the lock somebody yanks your hair or something crazy I don't know what kind of lifestyle you live you can easily repair it um, using this small little needle Naseo sent me this needle with my crochet locks and using this you can easily repair the damage also if you wish for a shorter bob which in this case that's what I did for this video you can just cut it and to make sure it doesn't unravel again you can just use this needle to stitch it up all right so here I have two of the butterfly locks and I'm gonna take one and shorten it so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna be kind of dramatic with this one I'm gonna cut about two inches off and the first thing you want to make sure you do is determine which side is the end and which side is the top and you can tell that just by kind of twisting it if it's in your head obviously you'll already know okay so I've cut it and here's how it's looking as you can see like it's pretty sturdy even after you cut it now if you happen to cut it right on a loop it will be looser but even still the the locks are pretty good at staying in place but just to be safe, you still want to seal it up using this needle. And like I said, Naseo sent this needle along with the hair, so you don't even have to make a separate purchase. So, the theory behind this, you may have seen people use this um, hook before with locks. Um, I've even seen people create locks that they didn't have using this. So essentially what you're doing is kind of tangling the hair and you're forcing that lock, like you're forcing the hair to lock together. You kinda wanna determine which side the hair, like the loose ends are on. You're gonna insert the hook on the opposite side, hook the hair into that hook, and pull the ends through to the other side. So you're basically pulling the ends into the lock, and it may be a little difficult at first, but as you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Now what you'll see me doing here is sticking the hook into the lock kind of further up and down, downwards, down towards the end of the lock. So I'm pulling those loose ends at the very bottom, especially in the middle, up into the lock so they're not so obvious. Another tip is you want to make sure you're inserting the hook somewhere that's nice and sturdy and tight. You don't want to get too low because those strands are already loose so you'll really just be working against yourself and nothing's really going to stay put so you want to start a little higher up where the lock is already locked in and aim the hook downward towards the end of the lock like I said you're just pulling those loose ends back into the lock and making it more solid and you can just keep doing this as much as you want depending on how tight you want those ends to be I actually like my ends to be a little bigger than the rest of the lock because I feel like naturally with locks the ends do tend to be more swollen because you know your locks do that over time notice how I'm using my fingers to push that hair up under that the hook because the hook is so small you want to kind of assist with making sure those strands are going under the hook and being pulled through and also make sure you kind of switch up the angle that you're holding the hook at switch up um, where you're inserting the hook you don't want to just keep going into that same space over and over because eventually like it's it's gonna loosen that area up and here's kind of a closer look And once it gets to about where you want it to be, you can take those last few strays, those little flyaway strands, and twist it around the lock, rub it between your hands, and you're done. As you can see, it's very sturdy. The end looks very natural. And here, I'm just going to show you a comparison between what I just did and how the lock originally looked. And here's a comparison of the two. Here's the one that I cut short and stitched up. And the bottom is 
how the lock comes originally. Now for how I customize these locks. Um, when I first did these crochet butterfly locks, I noticed they were pretty long. They're 12 inches, which is not super long, but of course because of the layers, um, it ends up being slightly longer than a short bob. And even if you look at the back, you'll see that these are like really long in the back. So what I wanted to do is give it more of a blunt cut um, just above my shoulders. So what I'm gonna do is go through and cut where I need to cut. Honestly, you definitely don't have to cut all the locks. The locks at the top are already at about the length that I would need them to be. It's the ones at the bottom that are hanging pretty low. So really the bottom two rows on either side of my head is pretty much what I'm cutting. And then in the back, pretty much the same thing. The hair at the nape of my neck is where I'll be cutting to make it a nice, even, blunt bob. And that's all I have for you guys today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if you like this new hairstyle I'm trying. And in the comments below, let me know what other crochet styles you guys would like to see from me. I have a ton of ideas, but I wanna narrow it down to make sure that I'm giving you guys exactly what you want. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.